guys, so today is the release day of the new chapter on Dead by Daylight. It is chapter 31, All Things Wicked. And this one might just be my favorite chapter so far because we've got the unknown and of course our girl Sable Ward, who I'm actually gonna be cosplaying today on stream. Now, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this one because I've managed to do this cosplay pretty cheap in terms of the clothing. I got everything from Amazon and I'm gonna be linking all of the clothing below. But we are gonna be starting with the makeup first. With Sable, her makeup might look a little bit complicated, but honestly, this is one of the easier cosplays that I've done in terms of the makeup. So I'm gonna start with priming my face and I'm also gonna add a little bit of setting spray on there as well, just to keep the makeup stuck because obviously I'm gonna be streaming in this makeup all day. But I am using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This setting spray is amazing. I'm just gonna do my everyday ritual of concealing all of my blemishes, any spots, things like that. And I'm just gonna blend all of that in. Now, I found with Sable, it is a little bit difficult to get an idea of her makeup because she has her hair over her face. So it can be kind of tough to see what colors to use. So this might not be completely accurate to your interpretation of Sable's makeup, but you can literally do whatever you want. That's the beauty of cosplay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Personally for me, I can't tell if her hair and makeup is pink, purple, I don't know what. So I'm literally just gonna do both. So for foundation, I'm going with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I just really like the full coverage effect. It works very well with cosplays, especially when you're filming or you're on camera. Usually I would go with a lighter foundation. This is actually the lightest one that I have right now, but because I've still got a little bit of fake tan left on, it's gonna look very weird if I go for something even lighter than this because Sable skin is pretty light. So I kind of wanna match that, but at the same time, I don't want it to look silly because my neck will look too orange, if that makes sense. So I'm just going over my entire face and I'm gonna make sure that I go down my neck as well to try and blend it as well as I can. Now, from the looks of pictures of Sable, it looks like she's got a really strong jawline and cheekbones. So I'm gonna paint those on. <laughs> and for that, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. Now, this color is not my shade at all, but probably will work well with Sable's complexion because it's actually for a lighter complexion. And I do this by just drawing down the jawline. I'm kind of just sculpting out where I want my jawline to be darker to give that almost chiseled illusion, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but with my cheekbones. So I just draw a little line like this on each side and we're gonna blend this out and we're gonna do the exact same for her nose here. Now I've just zoomed the camera in a little bit just to make it easier for you guys to see. It's kind of tough because I need to look in the mirror, but at the same time, I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. And then we're just gonna do a line down the nose bridge each side. What I do to give a bigger lip illusion is I do the same thing, but around the top and bottom of my lip. And all this does is just kind of accentuate that. And then I'm gonna blend it out because our girl Sable has some big jolty lips. So I'll blend out my lips with a beauty blender, but then for my jawline and cheekbones, I like to use this brush thingy. It's called the e.l.f. Ultimate blending brush. And I'm just gonna really buff that out just to make sure that we don't have any nasty lines. So now I'm gonna go back in with my e.l.f. concealer and I'm gonna put this in the highlighted areas. Oh gosh. Then I'm gonna put some just in the middle of my forehead here, the under eyes, of course and then a teeny tiny dot here on my nose just to give like a highlighted effect. Then with my beauty blender, I'm going back in and I'm just gonna blend that out. Next thing I like to do is add a little bit of liquid blush. Now this one is called Cheek Do and it's from ColourPop and it's in the shade Parisian Chic, I think it's called. I can't really see too much blush going on with Sable, but I know for a fact she's an e-girl and she would wear blush. And like I say, the beauty with cosplay is you don't have to do it exactly to the character. Obviously, if you want to be a perfectionist, you want to make it look accurate than you can. However, for my cosplayers, I also like to add in what will suit me and what I think would look cute on the character, if that makes sense. Now, I only add a teeny weeny tiny bit of liquid blush 
and I'm gonna blend it in with a beauty blender. Then with just any random powder, I like to use a translucent one. I think this is from Rimmel, but it's literally wiped off, so I have no idea. I think it's called Stay Matte Powder. It's like three pound, it's not that expensive. I'll just get a big puffy brush and I'll dip in and just go over my whole entire face. Now we're getting onto some fun parts. So I'm gonna take my trusty hula bronzer. And what you're gonna wanna do is remember all of the places that you added your cream contour and you're gonna wanna go over those. Now it looks a little bit like I got a beard, just bear with it because we're gonna blend it out. But Sable does have very strong features. So I really wanna get that across in my cosplay. So she has a super strong jawline and cheekbones. And then with anything that you've got left, you're just gonna put it over your forehead, just ever so lightly there. I mean, it doesn't really matter because you're gonna be wearing a wig or you're at least gonna have your hair covered over your face. So it's probably gonna look a little bit insane at first, but you're gonna take your big puffy brush and you're just gonna buff that out as best you can. Then for blush, I'm gonna take the NARS blush. This is in the shade Orgasm, ooh woo. And I also have a NARS blush brush for this. And I'm just gonna very lightly dip into it and just place it on my nose and then on my cheeks, just lightly because like I say, Sable doesn't really have super blush cheeks. I just like to make it ooh woo. Then I'm gonna take a brush that looks like this. This one's from ColourPop and it's just kind of like a thin, but compact brush. And this is gonna be for sculpting the nose. So I'm gonna go down the bridge each side. I'm gonna do one stripe this way and then one stripe this way. And you're just gonna keep working on it to kind of build a really prominent nose effect. Sable's nose is definitely unique and I really, really like it. She has these lines that just kind of go up each side here which I think look really cute. Then I like to just do a line across my bridge here. Sable doesn't actually have that, but I kind of just do that in my everyday makeup. And I like to add it just to give it some more depth. Now you should be looking like a crazy reindeer. This is good, crazy reindeer is good because you can always blend it. Sometimes it is tough to show you how the makeup actually looks because my camera does have a little bit of a face filter on it where it just slightly blurs my skin, which is why you should never look at my skin and be like, oh my God, Shelly, what do you do to your skin to make it so smooth? I use a camera that has a very nice face smoother. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> now I'm gonna use this teeny weeny tiny brush. I don't even know where I got it from. Just a tiny brush that you can use for highlighter. And I'm gonna go in with the Cloud9 palette. This is from ColourPop. It's got some really pretty icy colors in here. Now, this is not highlighter, but I'm gonna use it for that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Droplets and All Fluff, and I'm just gonna kind of mix them together. It's like a white and then a sparkly white. Because Sable is so pale, I feel like I can get away with using this as highlighter. So as you can see here, I've just dabbed a little bit on the end of my nose. I'm gonna do a little bit down the bridge, massively on the inner corners because Sable has some popping highlight in there. And don't worry if it's messy. Again, cosplay is meant to be messy. It's meant to be experimental. So if you think, oh, I don't know, I've just not made it perfect. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't have to be perfect. My cosplays do not look perfect off camera. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go above the cheekbones and give us some real plop in highlights. Now I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. I'm gonna add this to the top of my lip as well because she has a very highlighted top lip. And it's a bit of a struggle to see what her makeup looks like near her eyebrows, but I'm just gonna add this just below my eyebrows because I think super light colors on your brow bone make the actual eye makeup stand out a lot more. I'm gonna take a slightly thicker brush and I'm just gonna dip in again with the same colors and add that all over my brow bone. And then I'm gonna bring that round to the cheekbones so it nicely extends round into like a crescent moon kind of vibe. So from what I can see of Sable's eyebrows, they look kind of fluffy at the front. And then I'm not sure what the sides look like because obviously her hair is covering it. So we're just gonna make it up as we go along. For eyebrows, I love using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I just like to take the pencil and lightly go over the natural shape of my brow. Again, I wouldn't worry too much about the brows as you can't really see them anyway. However, what I will say is you need to extend out further forward than what your normal eyebrow goes. Unless, of course, you're blessed with naturally thick eyebrows at the front, which I am not. You should be able to see here that I have extended my brows out further forward than what they naturally go. Then we're gonna use a brow tint pen. This is from NYX again. It's called Lift and Snatch. And I just wanna 
to really define the back end of my eyebrows. Again, we're not really going to see them too much, but this is just what I like to do in my everyday brow makeup, so I might as well do it just to make it look kind of more feathered at the front and then more defined at the end. Now we're going to make that feathered effect look a little bit more prominent at the front of the brow, and I'm going to do that by taking the brow glue. This is again by NYX. This is in the shade medium brown, and what I like to do with this is I get really messy with it. I'm not bothered if I get little bits of the glue everywhere. I don't really care too much, I'm gonna be honest. And I'm just gonna brush those up and really get that feathered effect. I don't know if you can see that there. The main thing that you need to get is that fluffiness at the front and then you'll be absolutely fine. Now we're gonna go on to the fun part, the eyeshadow. Lots of pinks, lots of purples, very girly, but also goth, I love it. And I have my brushes here that I'm gonna be using. I call these the Sable brushes now because as you can see, Sable has definitely made her mark on these from my previous Sable cosplay. Now I think it's up for debate on whether her eyeshadow is pink or purple. I'm gonna go middle ground and I'm gonna do both. Now I'm gonna use these Revolution eyeshadow palettes. Look at that. We just need to appreciate those colors. Look how beautiful they are. So I'm going to be using a mixture of the purples and the pinks together. And the way that I like to do it is I start off with the lighter colors and then slowly integrate the darker ones. So we're going to start with a nice baby pink color and we're going to build on it. I'm just gently dragging that light pink color across my crease and then slowly bringing it up to my brow bone. And her eyeshadow is quite prominent. So I'm going crazy with it. I'm bringing it right up to that brow bone. It might look a little bit weird. It might feel like a lot, but trust me, it's one of the main highlights of this cosplay. So you really want that to be visible. And we are including the lid as well as the brow bone. We're literally making the whole thing pink. Now I'm taking a slightly warmer pink and I'm going to put that in the crease of my eye, just like this to really make that pink Oh, taking that warmer pink color, we're gonna go back in on the eyes, but we're gonna go underneath. So she has quite heavy pink shadow underneath her eyes. So you wanna take this quite extreme. You wanna look like a pink raccoon by the end of it. Now we're going in with our lovely purple colors. We're gonna start off light and then maybe make it a little bit darker afterwards. So for the purples, I like to do the inner corner of my lid. And we're gonna get a little bit of this on the eyelid itself and then slowly drag it up again like we did with the pink, just like this. Now, technically you could just leave it like this because honestly, Sable kind of just looks like she's got pink eye makeup and then a little bit of mascara, but I like to take things to the extreme. So I'm gonna be adding darker purple, winged eyeliner, the whole lot. Taking a slightly darker purple here and we're gonna go back in just in the crease to really give it some depth. And today I've decided to treat our girl Sable to a cut crease or as close to a cut crease that I can get. So I'm taking a little concealer brush and I'm just gonna slightly dab it on the concealer itself. And just on those inner corners, I'm gonna lightly paint the concealer, maybe like a half cut crease. So we're only gonna bring it halfway because I wanna give her sparkly pink shadow. Now we're gonna do some experimenting and we're gonna take a highlighter brush. We're gonna go in with this sparkly hot pink and then I'm gonna mix it with this sparkly white color. Now, makeup gurus, please don't shout at me. I know this is an absolute monstrosity, but listen, I ain't a makeup guru. I'm gonna do it. I don't care. She deserves it. She's a queen. She wants to be yesified, okay? So with our absolute abomination, we are just going in those inner corners and giving her a little bit of a sparkly moment. Oh, that's a little bit too white. I'm gonna go back in with the pink, don't worry. But I'll just start it off with this lighter color and then I'm just gonna smother it in hot pink sparkles. There we go, I think that's looking pretty yassified. Now, if you look closely on pictures of Sable, you can see her inner corners have got like a little cat wing thing. So I'm gonna take like a dark, dark brown color and I'm using this liner brush, really thin, really sharp looking. And I'm just gonna go on those inner corners and paint a little cat wing liner thingy. And don't worry if it's messy, we're gonna go over it with liner anyways. What I like to do with my liner is kind of give myself a template so I'm drawing on the cat wings either side with the eyeshadow and then I'll go back over it with eyeliner because I just feel like it makes my work a little bit neater. And again, I know that Sable doesn't have a cat wing, but she does now, okay? She does now. And after looking closely, it does actually look like she's got her waterline done. So I'm gonna take a brown 
eyeliner and just fill out those water lines. I'm not gonna go past the water line because it's not super duper heavy, but just to give it like a little snatched effect. I feel like that looks really pretty. Oh, and that brown eyeliner was the NYX Epic Wear Liner. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Matte Eyeliner. This is in the shade black and I'm just gonna go over my little template, just line in the eyes to make them really stand out and pop. I curled my eyelashes off camera and I'm gonna be using the Sky High Mascara. This is by Maybelline. Sable has some strong lashes, so we're gonna go in thick with the mascara. We're gonna really coat it on there, maybe like two or three coats. After many, many coats of mascara, we finally have the lashes done. What do we think? Oh, they're so long and luscious. I'm gonna take this headband off because it is literally squeezing my brain. Now we're gonna move on to Sable's iconic little pink heart. Now it's on this side of her face. I'm not sure which way the camera is flipped, so it might look like it's the wrong way, but it is on the left side of her face. And I'm using this little eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna start off by using a black eyeshadow just to get the shape right. I like to just do two little lines just as my little base. And then I slowly build on that and I'm just gonna slowly make it bigger because it is quite big. And don't worry if it ends up looking kind of fat and weird like this because you can clean it up. What I like to do is use a little Q-tip and I'll just shape it with that. And we can always add on some concealer just to make it look really nice and clean. But looking at her heart, it's not actually super neat anyway, so I'm not too fussed on that. Then to make it look a little bit more solid, I'm gonna go over it with some black liquid liner. Now for my favorite part of this cosplay, the lips. Her lips are so iconic. And I feel like it's a bit left up to debate on what color they are. In my original cosplay, I did them black, but actually after going on stream, a lot of people said that it's kind of like a purpley black color. So I might give that a go today and add a little bit of purple over the top. I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes. So I am taking the same brush as I use for the heart and I'm just gonna outline the lips because she has a really defined Cupid's bow. So I wanna make sure I get that right. I'm also gonna be overlining my lips. So get ready for that. They ain't real baby. <laughs> I'm gonna go down my natural lip line first of all and then we can slowly build on that you want to give yourself like a little french mustache first of all and then you want to bring these two lines up above to give yourself a really defined cupid's bow and then you're going to bring it back down i'll show you how so we drag it up 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 above your natural cupid's bow and the same for the other side and then we're going to make like a little triangle here just like this and make them meet in the middle. Now what I'm gonna do, the absolute horror, I am gonna use a black eyeliner pencil just to give myself a little bit of lip liner. So I'm gonna go over what I just did just to really darken up that line. And then we're gonna hold off on the black for a moment and we're gonna focus on the bottom lip because we need to line that lip too. Personally for me, I am using the Kylie Jenner lip kit. I'm using the shade Candy K and I'm just gonna line the bottom of my lip because although we need to make sure that the top lip is defined. We can't forget about the bottom because she has big juicy lips all around. Now, I personally find this the hardest part of the cosplay because you need to make sure that your top lip doesn't touch your bottom lip because obviously they're two different colors and it's super duper hard when you're talking and things like that. Now, I'm gonna use the Candy K lipstick on the bottom lip, but try and avoid making it touch the top. It doesn't really matter too much at this point because we still need to do the black, but once the black's on there, oh God, there's no going back. So while we're letting that dry, we are gonna focus on the top lip again. And I am gonna be using the e.l.f. lipstick. This is in the shade All Night. And I'm just gonna cover my top lip. And then I'm going back in with my black eyeshadow and I'm gonna do the line down the bottom lip. Now, the best way to measure this up is go from this point in your Cupid's bow and just go straight down like so. Now the black line is actually quite thick, so it can be quite forgiving, which is nice. But I'm just gonna build on that slowly. And as you can see here, the black lipstick is already printed on the bottom. It's really hard to avoid that, but you can always go back over it and fix it if you want to. Then once that's lined, I'm just gonna use the black lipstick again, straight over that line. Now, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people were saying that the lips are actually not black. They're like a deep purple color. So the way that I'm gonna get about this is I'm gonna be 
be using the Morphe palette. This is the Constellation Sky palette and I'm gonna be using this deep purple right here. And what I'm gonna do is just dip my finger in it and lightly press. Wow, look at that color. And I'm just gonna lightly press over the top of the lipstick. And that is the makeup side of the tutorial complete. However, if you do want to achieve the full look like I did right here, make sure to keep watching because now I'm going to go on to the wig and the rest of the cosplay. So like I mentioned earlier, all of these cosplay pieces were from Amazon and I'll put all of the links below. However, I'm just going to go over everything that I used and how much they cost. And I just want to add that all of the prices are going to be in pounds and not in dollars. Starting from the top, the wig I used was a long white wig, which I cut and styled and this cost 12 $12.99 and then I added some clip-in purple extensions which cost me $6.99. The choker that I used wasn't super duper accurate to Sables however this one I already owned and it was £4.99. Moving on to the top I used a lacy mesh leotard this was $8.49 and for the sleeves I used a black shrug this cost $9.99. I then layered this with a black corset which cost $16.99. Now the mug wasn't actually from Amazon it was from a site called Cozy Realm However, this isn't super accurate to the cosplay anyway. I just used the closest mug to Sables that I could find. But this cost $19.62. However, I do think you could definitely find one much cheaper than that. Then for the skirt, I used a mesh midi skirt, which cost $14.22. For the belt, again, not super duper accurate. However, I just used a standard circle chain belt. This was $4.98. So the total price of this cosplay, discluding the mug, was £79.64, which doesn't sound cheap. However, if you compare it to a lot of the pre-made cosplay prices, it definitely is. I think you could do this cosplay even cheaper, but I'd say that this is a pretty good price to say that it includes an outfit and also a wig. And this is the completed look for the Sable Ward cosplay. I'm super happy with it. Let me know in the comments if you liked it, if you tried out the cosplay, if you found any products that you think might be better or cheaper, and give me suggestions on who you want me to cosplay next because I really enjoyed doing this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye.